right so we're gonna make some or we're gonna make a Polish partridge trap I've pretty much got everything here what you need um, two options for the actual snare well actually there could be many options but the old way would have been <coughs> horsehair snares but I haven't made these into anything so I'm not going to bother using that but just so you know the original version would have been horsehair snares so an alternative to horsehair would be fishing line so you could use that but I'm going to use single strand brass wire for the snares um, so we've got some thicker string some thinner string you'll find out what all the bits are for later and two bits of wood which have been made into a ring now what all I've done is got them bent them over my knee and then I've just taped them in place just to keep them there and it was kind of as a test to see if they would bend um, and they are so I'm going to use one of these so this one which is pretty good shape what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the tape on I'm going to bind it and I'm going to cut the tape off but you could just um, get it into your round shape and then bind it but so it doesn't spring open and we keep it in a good shape I'm going to bind it now then cut the tape off I'm binding it as tight as I can. So this was an old trap um, made quite a long time ago. I've seen it in a book for catching partridges. You probably could um, scale this up or down for different animals um, but it's nearly always I say different animals but I mean different birds this type of this type of trap is nearly always for birds because birds not being as strong as mammals everything can be made lighter and weaker if you know what I mean so you, know, you couldn't catch a fox in something unless it was just walk off of it and horsehair snares wouldn't work for bigger animals but horsehair snares or single strand or fishing line ha um, snares are going to work with birds because they're relatively light and not necessarily that strong either I'll take a bit of this off hope it doesn't spring open so we'll get to the end of it Once I've made it, I'll show you, if I can, how they used to set it as well. Um, in the book I've got which shows this, it doesn't actually tell you what size the loop should be it just tells you it's a, a hoop of wood so it doesn't actually tell you how big though so you'd have to judge it if you thought this was too small for partridges or things like that then you'd have to make it bigger but for um but for smaller birds like partridges i think this would be quite a good size and also, if you did do this in a survival situation, 
and you thought to yourself that's going to be too light you could always have another line coming off this and have it staked to the ground whereas the, um, the one I've seen it has no mention of whether this should be staked to the ground it's simply just a loop and then the rest of the trap See what happens when we cut this bit off. That's staying in place there. I'll cut this one off and we'll see how this one stays. And if it works, if this stays where it's meant to stay, then we can carry on with the next part. Well, that's staying pretty good. I'll probably cut that bit off. Oh, if you want to know what type of wood this is, this is a long thin branch from an apple tree. This is regrowth from an apple tree. So it's an apple tree that's been pruned and then this is the regrowth and I've just stripped off the, each of these had a leaf coming out of it. So I've just stripped off the leaves just by holding it in my hand and stripping it off. Really nice and flexible and pliable when it's like that, when it's kind of new and fresh. Right, so once you've sorted out your loop, you need to tie a strong or a thicker string, one across there and one across there. So how you do this part is entirely up to you, I suppose. Get out a bit tighter. It's come up, it's come loose a bit. That end does. It's because this is cheap paracord, which is always a little bit bad for knots. It always seems. So I'm gonna pull it a bit tighter. So now you want to go across this way. You want to make a cross on it, really. I could probably hear the dog outside, outside this door, wanting to get in here, but she'll have to wait. Right, so this one then <coughs> goes across to there. And what I might do though, before I do that actually, I may wrap it around here once. That's not necessarily on the thing, but that's probably what I'm going to do 
just to make sure it stays nice and tight. So that's what we've got so far. So now you've got to make a few snares. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. You've got to make eight little snares for it. You could put less or more depending on how big your, um, what your frame is. But it seemed as well to add at least two on each cross piece and so I'll see if I can get this without it all raveling up or unraveling take a bit of that off and I'm going to try and wrap this up so this don't all unravel and if we need some more we can get some in a minute like I said, if you was into horsehair snares, then you could do it with that. So it doesn't actually say what size snare you have got to make, but I'm going to go for, well, I'll make this one, I'll show you. Like I said, you could do it with um, fishing line. I've just got a loop there. I don't know if you can see that. So we'll have it about. That big. So about three fingers. And cut it off now before I go too far I'm just going to open that up and roughly measure that on this bit of wire so add a little bit more for there and then I'm going to cut the rest of these off so I know roughly that's going to be right rather than having to keep guessing it that one's a bit shorter but right so put that through you see I've got a little loop there if you can see Focus yet, see it? No loop, and then that's going to go through there. And then this end, we're going to attach it onto here. Gotta watch this stuff because like needles but it will stick in your hand or go down the back of your fingernail. So 
But there's one now. If you can just about see it. See it there, standing up. So I'm going to put the others on off camera. So you get the idea now. So you put one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Then we'll come back. Right, so we're on to the last one. I'll just show you a little trick as well. So wrap it round. So I've threaded it through. You know, like a snare. Wrap it round tight. So it's gone round a couple of times. Wrap this round. Watching out not to get yourself stabbed in the end of the finger, which it does. And then pull it to where you want it to go. Now, if you think they're falling over like that one, all you want to do, make this easy, these tools not quite done yet, get them where you want them in position, and just a small pair of pliers or something, just pinch the wire around the string and it holds up perfectly. Like I said, fishing line, horse hair was a traditional method. Essentially, that is it, yeah, there. See it? So we've got two snares on each piece. Now where you've seen partridges feeding or whatever place this out and then spread corn or seeds all inside here all around and then when the partridge pecks hopefully he'll peck put his head in and get caught right now if he doesn't put his head in he may put his foot in and then get caught by his foot as well so a pretty decent trap I see I can just set this up outside. It's dark, but you may be able to see it. That's a quite a weird old interesting trap. I'll show you a picture of the um, original one if I haven't already done it on the video. Um, but yeah, you probably rig up a load of them quite quickly. Just chuck them on the ground. You could probably even carry them in a bag or whatever. Chuck them down. If you didn't think this was heavy enough to hold a, a partridge or whatever, you could just tie another piece of string off of this to a stake and then stake it in the ground. You know, it's pretty simple. You just got to look, you, you know, use your, use your brain and figure out other things. But yeah, I quite like that. Relatively simple. Um, you can scale it up, down, you know. Bigger, smaller, and if it don't catch him by the neck, that should probably catch him by the feet. You may be able to even, you know, put more, add some down, some up, you know, all over it. 
Right, he's watching. I'll see you later.